of an internee in a Japanese prison camp. But that's only a minor detail. First film of the Belson trial. This is being held before a British military court in a converted gymnasium in Lüneburg. Members of the German public have been allowed in and reports say they've been astonished by the fairness of British methods. ATS were there to search German women spectators before they entered the court. The president of the court is Major General Bernie Ficklin, seen inspecting the guard before opening the proceedings. The prisoners arrive. Altogether, 45 men and women. Last to get out of the first truckload is Kramer, the former commandant of Belson. You'll probably recognize him. The second truck contained the women SS guards, accused equally with the men of appalling crimes of cruelty and mass murder. We see them entering the court on the first day, and we think it appropriate at this point to include a few pictures of the camp soon after its liberation. First, this scene of horror, which all who have seen the film before will undoubtedly remember. Later, the SS guards were ordered to stand beside the mass graves, while a British interpreter read the British commandant's speech to them in German. And here's another scene, freed internees cursing the German guards. The SS women were also made to line up. These are some of the women now on trial. Speaking to the movie tone microphone, the Commandant, Lieutenant Colonel Mather, said... The officers and men regard this job as a duty that has to be performed, and none of us are likely to forget what the German people have done here. And Gunner Jim Illingworth from Cheshire. The things in this camp are beyond describing. When you actually see them for yourselves, you know what you're fighting for here. Pictured in the paper, cannot describe it at all. Dr. Ada Bimko, a Polish internee who did gallant work in the camp, has since featured prominently as a witness for the prosecution. Finally, Dr. Fritz Klein, accused, amongst other things, of injecting prisoners with petrol so as to see them die in agony. No men or women have ever faced charges of such a loathsome nature. Yet these Belson guards are getting as fair a hearing as British justice can devise. Numerically, the prosecution is one-third of the size of the defence, a fact which has particularly impressed the German people. One of the most prominent among the women prisoners is Irma Grazer, number nine. Most prominent of all, of course, are Dr. Klein, number two, sitting next to the ex-commandant Kramer. The trial continues. <laughs> 